Hello everyone, it's the Dutch Master and welcome to part 3 of Let's Build a Campsite in The Sims 4. So it's been quite some time since the previous two parts but I don't think it was too long. But I was just kind of busy with school and uploading a new speed build. Um, but yeah, here I am. Also the previous part was kind of screwed up because for some reason it lagged like, yeah, terribly. Um, and I've tested and this time it shouldn't lag. And I've also found the problem because actually I was recording the first part of the uh, yeah let's build a campsite series then and um, yeah it actually never really like rendered a video while recording one too and it turns out that that just doesn't really work the strange thing is that I didn't notice anything while I was recording while well, normally you notice lag but I'm sure it didn't lag because the ironic part was actually the fact that I said it didn't lag like while recording and then I just uploaded because for some reason I just didn't watch back the video. I honestly don't do that very often with Let's Builds. But, um, and then I st uh, started to see comments of people saying it lagged, so I watched it back and I was like, okay, come on, this is terrible. So, um, yeah, then I tried to re upload it, but then uh, re upload the video, but then I found out that it was actually in like the raw file, so the file I just recorded, which you can't change anything in, which kind of sucked, but you know. I'm happy to see that you stayed positive because that's like really great. I'm happy that you didn't like start to freak out, but um, I'm happy to see that my viewers are positive people um, because, of course, um, being positive is a good thing. I, or at least that's what I think. Being positive can't be something bad, I think. Um, but anyways, in this part, I'm going to continue building the campsite or at least the. Uh, the reception of it and then maybe start with the garden already I'm not sure how far we will come but I'll do my best to uh, get as far as we possi uh, possibly can um, so yeah what I uh, said uh, at the beginning of, of this episode was actually that I'd been working on a new speed belt and uh, yeah that's actually right of course otherwise I would not have said it but I've um, been working on a cottage speed belt for um, yeah, for on the channel, you've maybe seen it already because I uploaded it, like, I'm not sure when I um, upload this video, but I uploaded it, like, several days ago, and, or maybe yesterday if I uploaded it today, but um, the video, or the house, is called Summer Lodge, so if you're interested, you can check it out. Um, I personally think it turned out to be really cool, and I really think the end result was awesome. It's a cottage, or a, lo uh, or a lodge, whatever you want to say, I decided to call it Summer Lodge, and it's like a really... Yeah, a really cozy, cool looking uh, house, or at least in my opinion, many people seem to like it. I also put very much effort into making the video, so I hope you enjoy that too. Um, and it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's less in a modern style than this will be. This will actually be a little bit more modern, but uh, still it's like, you know, less modern than I would normally build in. Because, you, of course, it's a lodge, so then... You don't want it to be too modern, but with the windows it did go for something modern actually. Uh, just like I'll do with this um, lodge or this cottage, whatever, this building actually. So um, yeah, let's just start, but I'm I'm not really sure yet what I want to do here. I, it doesn't really feel that good. I don't really like the look of these uh, windows either. It's just, it's too big I think for a lodge it just doesn't really feel right maybe it does if i yeah that idea of making like something that feels like a lodge but with some modern windows i don't think that ideal uh, or that idea will actually succeed um so now i'll have to come up with another idea um maybe i can at least try to add this maybe that will make it look a little bit better and then remove the fence over here, of course. By the way, um, yeah, I'll put the link to the speed build in the description, maybe. I will probably forget, but maybe I don't. And then you can always check it out in the description. It might be there. So move objects on. There we go. Put it over there. Um, I can't. Yeah, there we go. Mm, yeah, I'm not really sure what... I'm not really happy with this, to be honest. I think I'll change it. I don't like the curves either over here. I would just, I don't like it. It doesn't fit the style. So I'll, as you can see, I've just deleted it. Easy. And then adding these. 
um and then just add this i do like the idea that this is actually kind of a brighter um cottage yeah because i've already built like a little bit of a darker one so i thought a bright one would actually um yeah be better to build this time because it actually already planned on building a little bit of a darker cottage for the speed build which is why i decided to make this one not that dark um there we go let's just see if i can get this right um there we go and maybe as far as this will go no that's way too basic that's like terrible um that's seriously a terrible roof um nope there we go maybe this will be better yep there we go um yeah yeah this might be kind of boring to listen to but i'm really trying to make it look good so then i have to concentrate if that's what you can see when you're just building a house in the sims um, which you can't like really concentrate on i think yeah let me see can i change this yeah it, there's just something in the shape that i don't really like for some reason, I think there's something that could be better. But I'm not sure which part it is. And it might actually be the part of this roof over here. So let me see. I'll put it there. And then this to the back. Then we can delete. Well, I, I don't really have to delete this one, actually. Mm. Yeah. And then maybe if I actually add this part in front of it, then it might look nice. But I'm not sure, so let's just check it out and then we'll find out. There we go. Yep. That's not that bad actually. Then using a small roof over there. I think that at least fits it a little bit better already because I just... Yeah, there was something that I didn't really like about it. It was just, yeah, for some reason like a reception of a lodge just has to feel like a little bit bigger in my opinion. But I think starts to work out the way it's right now then we add that there we go and then I guess I'll just add this roof as well because yep then we can make it bigger then I guess I'll just let this go all the way over here. Yeah, I think we start to get a shape going here. As you can see, we're just changing it a bit. And I expect that we'll not be able to start the garden yet in this part. Because we still have to do the the yeah, the yeah wall paintings and the windows. But we do get a better end result in this way, I think. Um... And the end result is what do we want, of course. Um, there we go. Maybe this looks better. Yeah, I think I like this, actually. That's like... Yeah, that's better. I prefer this over what I built before. Mm, there we go. Then I'll make this smaller actually. And I'll have to put this up. 
Is it, is it strange to have a shape like this or? Yeah, the shape of the roof is like not even, but I don't think it really matters. Mm. Well, we'll look at that later. Um, okay, I think I like I like the entrance the way it is right now. Yeah, this feels more like a cottage actually. It it was it felt like it was kind of too small before. It doesn't have. It shouldn't be too detailed actually. You have to make it detailed. Yeah, it's detailed with the things I add already. So then the shape shouldn't should not be that detailed actually. So let me actually delete this. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then I add that one. And then I have to actually change the yeah, like this. It's alrighty. Um then what to do here because this is not that good okay so actually this is like an entire renovation episode but you know it's building so it, it doesn't really matter it's fun at least i like it um so maybe it works if i put that there and then there we go Hmm, um, yeah, maybe if I put it a little bit to the back, um, there we go, or is that like, Boring. Um, I will actually change the shape of this inside because I don't want it to be like this. I want there to be like a balcony over here, actually. Yep. And how am I going to delete that other part of the roof? Because it keeps coming back, I see. No, I'll see. Um, now I'll have to put this like that. That's the thing I find kind of frustrating about the new roofing tool. The fact that, you know, if you want to add those uh, roof etchings... You just have to make sure that everything is there. It's something you just have to check um, to see if that's the problem. But yeah, it just takes a little bit more time. And it's frustrating that it can't be done differently, but oh well. Um, do I like it? Yeah, I think I like it. This might be a little bit boring. What would it look like if I put it on a higher foundation actually? On like no foundation. It does need a foundation. And then I'll actually add this one. Because this will in the end fit this building best I think. Um, and then regarding the rest. Um, do I like this? I'm still not sure about this part. Yeah, maybe that could be done better. But I don't know how. Like, I feel like I miss kind of a part, but maybe I can actually add that at the back of the house because there's something I want to add to this latch to actually really make it look like a latch because that's really something that's missing right now that yeah we shouldn't be missing because it really makes it feel less like a lodge um but i'll add that and i'll just add it right now because all of you well i'm not sure about that but maybe some of you might be like oh now i want to know 
well let's do that um oh i enlarged this of course so i have to enlarge this as well no problem then i have to remove the curve here as well because yeah curves aren't the best part for a large like this um So I think I'll extend this a bit. There we go. Okay, we've added that. Yep, there we go. Because this is actually what I was talking about. I want to have like an area with a huge balcony. Yeah, just an area like this one. But we've added it, so that's great. Um, how am I actually going to delete that roof I'm not sure because the roof yeah over here the latch is okay it's boring at this part but I might change that in a later stage but for now it's okay yeah I will not be able to delete those roofs unfortunately this is such a renovation episode like I was planning on actually I was like the, the shape is finished I'll just continue the the wall paintings but it just didn't feel that that yeah it didn't feel right so i've decided to change it because it really didn't look that nice to be honest or at least i thought nope it, it was just terrible um let me see Add these so we can add some more roof etching. There we go, there we go. Does this look better? Mm, kind of. It can still be better. Um, but that's because, you know, the lighting at the moment is terrible. Or at least, like, we have a shadow at the other side. Which makes that I can't see this side, like, very well lit. So, that's the nice thing about the new build mode of The Sims 4. You can just change or change around the entire house. So, I've done that. Maybe this is, like, even a better side anyways. Um, but, yeah. Um, no, that won't work with... No, with the roof through that. This might be the best option. There we go. And then let's see. Yeah, I like this front part except for that roof going through it over there. I do think that it would be better differently and differently means like this I think also this is kind of a long part I think but I don't want to like leave you with a half unfinished house if it was finished before so I will actually change it in time I hope um, yeah this looks kind of nice i think not sure but it's okay um then i guess i'll just put it there and there yeah just putting some of those of these things over there This part really looks like a cottage and the reason for that is that it has like very much wood um, so I must remember that for the rest of the house actually. Just wood adds some kind of you know cottage feel which is like extremely logical actually but I must remember that. Um, also don't worry about the way it's placed right now because you might think yeah 
I prefer the other side then why is it at back but it's just for the lighting so I could see this part better and I'm just looking around the house trying to make it look better because this could really use some improvement I'm like almost trying to delete the house and just start all over again because I'm not sure if I like what it's like right now mm. Uh, let me see. Yeah. You know, I like this part, but that's, yeah. I, w I could change it in a certain way, but then I would, like, definitely change the entire house. And that's not really what I was planning on doing, but I can actually change quite some things, I guess. I mean, you want to have a better house as well, right? So it doesn't really matter too much if I change it. Um, because, you know, in the end, the end result will be better. Otherwise, I wouldn't be changing it. So don't worry about that for sure. Uh, okay, there we go. Because then I will just add something like we have over here. Over here. And as you can see, just adding many... Just adding quite some wood. Oops. There we go. Some I wish that I could like turn off uh, shadows because then all the parts of the house just look good. Um, so now let's go back to this side. Look, I mean this looks so much more like a cottage and like summer. If I look at it from this lighting, then if you look from it from an, from the other lighting, it's just such a huge difference. Mm. Yeah, I think I have an idea for what I will do with the rest of the shape, actually. And I can tell you it's going to be changing. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. Look forward to quite some changes for the next part, because that's actually what's coming. Um, because I'm not happy with the shape of it uh, like it's right now but I do promise that next part uh, the shape will actually be done so don't worry about that but everything will be changed well not everything but quite some parts will be changing and like seriously quite some parts but um, yeah I hope you don't think that's too much of a problem if you like it yeah sorry I'll make sure it will be even better so thanks for watching and hope to see you back later